Welcome back. It's time to take you through our overdrive segment and today we've got a very interesting car. It's Kia's new electric flagship, the EV9 which has arrived in middle of the festive season. It's priced at about 1.3 CR and this luxurious electric SUV sort of boasts of impressive performance and cutting edge features, but we don't know a lot about cars. Overdrive does and they had a closer look. This is the Kia EV9. It's a three-row SUV that costs 1.3 crores. It's Kia's new flagship in India. So let's see what it's all about. Now, of course, you can't miss this really striking presence of the EV9, and that's largely down to this really vertically stacked headlamp cluster. Now, you've seen this in many Kia products, but it's really quite exaggerated here. And just going with a the theme, of course, you have that blank face. It's an EV, but just in the way these LEDs, they sort of completely flush, sort of. Patterned into the plastic, which is really high quality, looks really high class and very different, and that just flows into it, so it gives it a very different look. Now, this huge thing is the DRL. It's somewhat similar to what you've seen in the new Seltos and Sonnet, but of course, sort of exaggerated to a higher degree. Here, you see the indicators working, and there's more to it. Now, of course, this car is completely feature loaded, so you get this 360 degree camera, you get the ADAS sensor, and there's also a lot of aerodynamic aids that are going on, of course, this being an EV. So you have these air curtains which sort of close and open like in a lot of high-end cars. And also some inlets here to sort of channel air through the big body of the car. Now the EV9 is based on the eGMP architecture. You've seen this in many Hyundais and Kias. And it's the same that's in the EV6, but of course it's been enlarged into this new shape. So you have all those benefits of a born electric sort of model. So you have this 52 litre frunk here. This is the all wheel drive model, which is why it's slightly smaller than say what the two wheel drive model would have been. And there's also good drag coefficient. It's 0.28, it's maybe not the best, but it's pretty decent for a large, big SUV. Now here's a look at just how big the EV9 is. It's almost at par with the Carnival in terms of its sheer size. And, but of course, there's that SUV sort of shape to it. So it's got that butch presence to it. Now I'll give you some numbers. It's over 5 meters long. The wheelbase is about 3, 3.1 meters. And you have these massive 20 inch wheels. Now you have this really neat aero design to it, 20 inches. And there are a few more stuff that you find in EVs nowadays. You have these flush door handles. Of course, a roof rail, this being an EV. And yeah, like I said, even though the front is really quite exaggerated, you see the glass here. It's quite functional, it's quite practical, large windows, this sort of C-pillar here, the windscreen here, the quarter glass, it's really quite large to sort of give you that family SUV sense to it. Now there's also quite a bit of ground clearance for an EV at least, there's 198 mm, that's quite significant for an EV. Now given that the Kia EV9 is right at the top of the Kia sort of food chain, it, it's the flagship of the brand, you do notice that the interiors do sort of reflect that, they're quite a step above what you expect from say a Seltos, even the Carnival as we know it. And you really notice it in this sort of modern design. Now there are some soft materials. It's of course not up to the grade of the full full fat luxury brands that the Kia is competing with with this car. But it's really quite good. You won't feel short change for the price, I feel to a certain extent as well. But you have this sort of floating effect to this fabric panel here these air vents, the way they function, sort of different textures, just the right hint of chrome here. And all of that really does make you feel quite special. But what's really striking is again that in the way Kia has used that electric architecture to good effect. Now, to start with, yeah, these buttons, some of you, this sort of capacitive sort of sense to it may not be the best. It's very, it does have some haptic feedback to it, but it's not the easiest to use on the move. But yeah, you still do have some tactile controls, say for the climate controls. But now coming to what is actually quite unique is this section because it's based on that skateboard architecture, it's completely flat. So you do notice that you have a lot of space here, your usual many USB ports and 12 volt outlets. And even here, I must say, even though it is in the lower reaches of the compartment, quality is not that bad, it's still reasonably good. And then there's this sort of center section here. You get this sliding cover which holds these cup holders. It's very European, it's very high quality, which is great. You have a few buttons, say, for the cameras. I'll put them up here. Again, you've seen these cameras in other Hyundai's and Kia, so that's not very different, but it's reasonably good quality. 